gonna get a nice rinse on everything. Get all the blood out of here. So we all rinsed up now. Don't have a fillet knife with me tonight, so we're making it happen with our regular little knifey knife that we use for fishing. So blues don't have a ton of scales, as you can see. We're gonna do the assembly line thing here. We're just gonna scale them all up real quick. bleeding them of course that's the key that's how you keep that meat mild because they can they can get strong on you they have a distinct flavor you know right and now your family love them huh? yeah soak them in that buttermilk yeah or just regular milk it leaches that oil out of them. Make them good to go. It's called blue saltwater piranhas. Is that what they call them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny, I never heard of no, they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't resemble that much. They're not. They're not as aggressive that they'll eat humans or an animal potentially that falls in the water. I mean, they're they're pretty much fish eaters, to my knowledge. I've never known them to be. I've never heard of a human getting bit by a bluefish. But piranha, that's another story. Unless he stick the finger in his mouth. Right. Yeah. If you, if you volunteer your flesh, then they will bite you. I don't know how much eating of you they'll try to do. They might bite you in self-defense. As long as you keep them moist, the scales will come off pretty easy, but if you let them dry out, then those scales, they get down on there, they don't want to come off. Ugh. They'll be trying to do some other stuff. What do they sell? I'm trying to think what they sell brews a pound for. I don't know. Fish See, man, I'm still buying fish, man. <laughs> well, I'm not. <laughs> so, but, but I, I need to come down here more often, so. No, I ain't buying stop no my fish. Freezer, stop my freezer with fish. I ain't buying nobody's fish right now. I got whiting, blues, puffers. What else I have in there? I just ate some flounder the other night that I had. I had a flounder in there that I caught like three keeper flounder this year. I ain't fished for them much, though. Cause I was on the sheep's head so or so hard. You got plenty of sheep so head? I still got sheep's head. I got I won't say plenty. I probably got about maybe five left. We were eating them as fast as we could catch them. I like those bad boys are good. <laughs> I like we ate plenty of sheep's head this year. If you are what you eat, we got a little sheep's head in our DNA right now. All right, so they're all scaled up. So rinse. Get all the excess scales out of the way. All right, get our little spray down going. Now we're gonna come back and chop some heads off. 